Hey, my name's Scott, and today I'm going to show you around my work desk as well as showing you my workflow and backup procedure. So I've just finished building my studio, the main shooting area. I'm currently in like an enclosed doored office, as it were. It's pretty big. We've got a sink, four desk spaces, a library of cooking books, shelves and shelves of camera kit, and about 10,000 props in here. The reason you're only seeing this bit is because all of that is a bomb site. I'm waiting to double the size of my studio at the moment, and with that, most of the content in here will be going out. We're getting new desks in here, more desks in here, but for now, this is where I'm working. So I'm gonna show you around this space, sort of right to left, explain what's in here, and then go through my workflow and backup procedure. So, starting off at the back here, I've got a pegboard which holds all the bits I don't know what to do with. My wallet, my keys, a knife, the key to the skip outside, all that sort of stuff lives back there. Then over here, this is a new feature. This is my doorbell. And it's also the CCTV for the studio, which I've not got on here at the moment, because I keep that hidden, obviously, I think. I don't know. Anyway, the doorbell. I get delivery and courier and cold callers knocking on the door 10 times a day, taking up five to 10 minutes each. I can easily lose an hour of my day with pointless door answering. So this stops me from having to do that. It is brilliant. I've not answered the door six times so far today, and that saves me a lot of time. Now underneath this is also a PC which is also hooked up to this monitor and that's there just in case the client turns up with a hard drive and they've got it formatted for PC only. It just It's one of those little things, it's not a great PC, it's nothing fancy but it does a great job for that. Over here which is currently ingesting my audio, this is my iMac and this is used as my mostly a data moving machine and a backup machine. Um, doesn't really do much more than that apart from play YouTube videos to the sound system which is underneath here and spread around generally. Then in the middle here, we've got drive 17A and 17B. It's my 17th hard drive that I'm on at the moment on this run of hard drives. And I'll explain more about this in the backup at the end. But they sit in the middle here just so I can make sure they're ticking away and doing their stuff. Down here with this orange cable connected to it is my MacBook Pro. This is my main editing machine. And that's connected to this BenQ monitor here, which is calibrated. There we go, with this spidery doodah over here. That's probably just ruined the audio for you all. And that's how this bit's all sort of set out. And it'll make more sense when we go through the workflow. Then I've got my microphone, which is now permanently here. I've got a 5D Mark II on a Canon 17 to 40 F4, currently at 17 millimeters, on a sort of uh, resistancy grippy stand. There's basically clamps everywhere holding this all up. And if you can see in this reflection up here, I've got two light bulbs inside sort of paper diffusers, which are lighting the scene. And that's my setup. This will never come down. This YouTubing setup will be permanently here. The camera's mains powered rather than battery powered, so I don't have to worry about that. It's coming straight through here into this tether cable, straight onto this screen here, which shows me I'm recording, that I'm in focus, and that'll be ingested straight into the workflow. I'm all about the time saving. And because of that, it's why I have things like this charging board here. If I'm on location, I take the three screws out, pick the whole thing up, and take one plug and plug it in at location. It just stops me from having to faff around so much. You can easily lose days of a month just by excessive movement and work. So this is my setup at the moment. Now, in terms of my workflow, I shoot almost exclusively tethered nowadays. I don't tend to do anything untethered, and my tether software of choice now is Capture One. It is so much better than Adobe Lightroom, I wish I'd moved sooner. Now, some of the perks, I'm going to go through this in a different video as well, so do subscribe if you want to see that. Some of the perks are the live view and the way that you can build the recipes to export the same photograph as multiple file types in multiple folders. Got that out eventually. I got distracted by this bit of sun which has just appeared on my chest. Um, it's blindingly bright outside and I've clearly left a gap in the blinds. So, I shoot tethered and that goes on to drive one and drive two for the location drives. And these drives, they're, they're sort of tem temporary drives almost. Here's one here. So it's a temporary drive. I've got two of these. One of them, this one here, will go home with me. And the other one will stay in the studio on the tether trolley. And that'll be ingested into this machine at the end of the shoot. Now, upon ingestion, that goes to drive 17A and 17B. And those drives are sort of my backups on site. The one which comes home with me... This will end up going onto my uh, laptop at home and going onto 17C. Now, 
These two machines and my machine at home are all backed up to Backblaze. These drives are all backed up to Backblaze. And when I've delivered to the client, these get formatted. I've got loads of these drives kicking around. Once the delivery is made, I've got one copy, two copy, three copies at home, and all three are mirrored to the cloud. So it's a pretty safe system. I could probably do with some sort of NAS drive or something like that. I'm not very technical, but for me as a non-technical person, this system works brilliantly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're looking to find out more about being a professional photographer, commercial photography, or food photography, do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out two, three videos a week at the moment. I'll see you all next time.